we'll talk about the time value of money so uh, this is a uh, second chapter for cfa level 1 examination so what is time value of money so suppose if you have 10000 uh, dollars right now and uh, you put it into the bank and you get 11000 uh, after uh, one year then you will call that you gain some interest on your 10000 and that is equal to 1000 so if you take 1000 and divide it by 10000 so that will be equal to 10% so you will say that your rate uh, of interest is equal to 10% same way if suppose uh, you are about to get uh, 10,000 uh, after one year and now you need that money right now so instead of waiting for one year you want that money right now so you will say um, let give me 9,000 so in this case because you lose 1,000 instead of getting 10,000 you are willing to take 9,000 so we will say that 1,000 divided by and then in this case i will divide it by the future value so that is 10000 so if i say 10000 so that will be again equal to 10% so in this case the discount rate is equal to 10% so uh, i took uh, this example because it was easier for me to calculate 1000 divided by 10000 however if you look again into this Suppose if you have a, a amount called hmm, P and then after one year it will be P into 1 plus R where R is equal to rate of interest divided by 100. So suppose if, uh, if uh, R is equal to 0 0.1 or 10 percent then uh, 1 plus r is equal to 1.1 right so this is your uh, future value but if you want to discount it then you have to multiply this future value by discount rate and that will be equal to 1 minus d and then it should be equal to p so P is equal to P into 1 plus R this is the future value and then this is your future value and then you discount it back to go back to the present value so if you in this case now you can uh, cancel out the P so you left with 1 plus R is equal to 1 minus T so this is our relationship between discount rate and the interest rate uh, so this is uh, one of the very easy uh, question which can show up in the exam and uh, you have to uh, remember this formula if you don't remember you can also just memorize it go to the future value and then discount it back and that will be equal to your uh, present value and uh, then uh, you can come up with this formula so uh, so if uh, for example so you please remember that r is not equal to d so it's not equal to d so if your uh, r uh, is equal to uh, one point uh, like if, if r is equal to 10 percent or equal to 0.1 uh, then in this case we will have one divided by 1.1 is equal to one minus d and your d will be equal to uh, one minus 1 divided by 1.1 or equal to 0.1 divided by 1.1 uh, or equal to 1 by 11 so so r or d is different than r so d because r was equal to 1 by 10 so this is 1 by 11 so r and d are slightly different and they are not equal uh, in this case so now there is some another term which is called opportunity cost So opportunity cost uh, is uh, another term it is used in financial world but it basically means the same thing as R. So opportunity cost means suppose if you have 
nine thousand uh, dollars with you and uh, you can you have two options you spend it or you put it in the bank so if you spend it then you lose the interest so you will lose interest and if you lose the interest then that is called uh, your opportunity cost so the amount of interest which is lost by you because instead of spending you could have put that in the bank and if you put that in the bank you would have gained the interest so now you are spending it that means you are losing the interest so this is called opportunity cost so loss of interest is equal to opportunity cost so suppose this would have been uh, 10,000 after one year so we will call uh, is equal to 1,000 here so because we lost 1,000 and uh, another way to look at the opportunity cost is suppose you borrow from the bank to start a project and then the amount of interest you give to bank for starting your project so you, in, for starting a project you lose some interest because you are borrowing that money so that amount of interest which you lose to the bank can also be termed as opportunity cost so borrow borrow from bank so interest paid to bank is equal to opportunity cost so so this is lesson one and then uh, look forward to my next video uh, we will talk more about the interest rates and discount rates and how to do some calculations thank you